and gentlemen, and to all of our viewers from around the world, good evening from Mandalay, Myanmar, and welcome to WLC Mighty Warriors. Without further ado, let's get the first fight underway. This first bout is a lightweight bout of five rounds of three minutes. This fight is presented to you by Key Company Limited, the official fertilizer partner of WLC. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of seven wins, one loss, and 12 draws. From Yangon, Myanmar, Toon Min Nang. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, with a record of 10 wins, one loss, and 12 draws. From Mon State, Myanmar, Sa Tar Nang. Those of you new to Letway will notice a high number of draws for a large number of these fighters. In numerous Letway promotions, if a fight does not end by way of knockout or TKO, it's automatically ruled a draw. That is not the case. Championship three judges going right side round number one. White truck for two mid nang. Black truck for Saltar Nang. Nice kick from Soul. Hard on the inside Ooh. kick. Big right hands. Saltar Nang opening up with the strikes and into the clinch. Stop. Stop. And the exit from Tim Mendang. Working off the jab is Sautarne. Back to the clinch and back to the inside. 35 seconds gone, round number one. Hey. Hey. Oh, nice combination, left hook. Leading with the team kick, back to the inside to clinch. Looking for the throw. They get the separation. Nice and barely getting through. Get to the clinch now, the knee to the inside. Just a reminder for everyone out there, you are allowed to dump in this sport. Jimmy oh. Nang again using the clinch, take down by Sautarde. Fighters stood up immediately. Oh. One, two, then the left hand gets through from Sautarde. Michael Tupin Nang really using the inside game, using the clinch. Yeah, as well as boxing is up there, he's, he's coming in with a combination. Um, Tan is actually just tying him up. Every time he ties him up, he'll dump him or throw him to the ground. But the combination from Saw, it's actually working. He's coming in with a nice, clean left right. There Lockdown we go. pressure from Sautar Nang. And again, you see the clinch. These are not active clinches. Short knee from Sautar Ney doesn't really get through. And the separation without the active clinch. Tentative on the team kick, overhand right. Nervous moments for these two fighters stepping up to World Lightweight Championship. Again, to Min Nang, 18 years old, Sautar Nate, 20 years old. Yeah, both young guns. Both started already with the headbutts. Good body kick from Sautar Nate. Landed clean right in the jaw. Not rule the knockdown, right back to it. Big body kick with the right hand from Nang. 
but that was a good opening round for both fighters. Uh, so Tang Nei definitely using more of his boxing. Sun using his, uh, tying him up with his technique of grappling. Just watching the replays now. Coming your left elbow, just slipping out. There we go, there's that right cross that we were talking about earlier. Just looking at that the second time, I actually thought that would have been an A count. Clearly dropped with, uh, with a punch. This bout number one of seven. In our co-main event, you will see the light middleweight division. The Ukrainian Sasha Moisa making his World Lightweight Championship debut versus Shui Yarman. And in our main event at stake, the inaugural WLC Light Welterweight World Championship from Portugal, Antonio Faria versus for Myanmar, Sa Tu Ong. Round number two upon us in this lightweight fight. Two Min Nang versus Sa Tar Nang. Second round, here we go. The face of Saul slowly swelling up. Front deep kick to start things off for Nang. Saul definitely showing that his aggression coming in forward. Get the front team outside kick to counter from Sautar Nang, and he can't to the clinch. Tying him up. Tight clinch almost defensively held by Tu Min Nang as we saw in round number one. They legally continuing to throw, working his way out of the clinch, lands the body kick on the exit. Misses with the overhand right. See the walk down pressure back to the inside and again Nang with the clinch. That clinching technique is actually working for Tan. Um, he's not able to absorb any of those head, uh, head kicks, neither the headbutt. Oh, there's the headbutt himself. Short headbutt indeed on the inside. Fist almost from a side headlock position. 50 seconds gone, round number two. Head kick not getting through and again to the inside. See Nay being active, short punches, body and head. Back to the restart. Good straight right hand from Sautarne. Ah! Then continuing Michael to use that side headlock. Defensively in the clinch, that was a good team kick on the chest. Took Nang off of his striking line. Sautarne comes back to the inside, throwing the knee and the knee with the right. Ah! Get the side headlock. Yeah, which is perfectly legal. Like I mentioned, Tun has actually got his good defense, oh. just soaking up all those, that grappling. Ooh, just missed the coming in elbow. See the short punches from the clinch from Sautarne. Bang holding that clinch extremely tight, extremely oh. defensively. Head kick gets through from Nang. Straight right hand. Now. Big shots now, back to the inside. Yeah, now Dunn showing some Stop. aggression and it's actually working for him. Coming in with a clean combo left, right, landing flush. That straight right has been there for a two mid nag. Drops on Tarnay with it in round number one, even though it was not ruled a knockdown. Punches to the body. Still very stop start to this fight. Faints on the team kick, saw so to the inside now. Saw so Tarnay's uh, defense is working for him with the clinch, but it's more, um, Sora is actually showing more activity, especially in that grapple. He's, he's actually punching me during that grapple. And that is the end of round number two.
Out. Here we go for round number three. As I mentioned, Second I reckon Sora is showing more of aggression and more defense from, from Tan, but his defense is working. When he does open up, his combos are actually landing more flush and cleaner. Hey. Oh. Round number three underway. Two punches to start round number three for Sotar Day. Opening this round with nice headbutts coming in. Those small little headbutts do get annoying and they do hurt. Downward headbutt from Nang. He's tying him up. There's a technique. He's trying to. There's a good head to from Sotarnay. They're trying to exit the clinch. Left to the body. Now the separation. Team kick, right hand misses. Stop! Continually, Michael Tumit Nang going to the inside and holding a really tight defensive clinch. Yeah, uh -huh. Dunn's really trying to hold him up tight and diffuse all those elbows, all those punches, especially the headbutts. And here's a technique of a tight clinch that we were mentioning. And the separation yeah. restart oh. center of the ring. Nothing on that head kick from Nine. This is with that head kick as well. Short elbow, short and sharp. Back to the clinch. He's going to try to dump him oh. in, and there we go to the ground, holding him into the neck. Hey. Oh. Ooh, jumping knee, laying flush right on the chest. Saul. There's that dumping technique that we mentioned. Getting the dump again from the side headlock. Better stuff from two mid Nang here in round number three. Across the halfway line of this fight. Time saw Tarnay getting the takedown. Getting the fighters right back to their feet. Walk down pressure now from Saw Tarnay. Saw Nang missing with the elbow. Yeah, Sartane is definitely putting on the pressure, coming in forward, but he's coming in too forward, too fast, and he's getting clenched up, getting suffocated. Tupin Nang very much trying to make this an inside fight. This is with that elbow, but allows himself to come inside. Sartane, one in range, just like that. Swinging elbow. Headbutts, side headbutts, here we go. Good headbutts from Sartane. Slight swelling up in the oh. left eye on the face of Saw Tarnay. Hard outside kick, counter right hand from Nang. Get the headbutts from both oh. fighters. Oh. Front team trying to kick out the rear leg with Saw Tarnay. The fighters turning up the aggression, turning up the volume here in round three. Oh. 
Here we go for the fourth round. Sartar Nay showing his aggression. But that aggression is coming in too aggressive to the point where he's choking himself up, not leaving enough space for a nice clean, nice clean combo. Diffusing all his combos by tying him up and holding him. Front team kick, powerful on the low kick, and right back to the inside and the takedown to Minang. That was a nice right kick from Turn. Oh. Can you see the team on the chest? Right hand. That right cross, Michael, has been there for two minutes in this fight. He just oh. hasn't thrown it a lot. But fires through the ropes. Through the ropes. Here we go. Tons of uh, combination. These um, single punches, single kicks are actually landing cleaner. Inside headbutt to close distance on turn A. Get the takedown from the side headlock. Yeah, Sartane is trying to make it an inside fight. Getting diffused with his grappling and then getting dumped himself. Very basic throw, and yet Jumin Nang continues to hit it. Not even a head and arm throw because the arm is not in. Just a dump on the turn on the side of the line. Swingy elbow misses. Sautarne taking himself down off balance right back to his feet. 150 remaining round number four. Sautarne continuing to be active, held in the clinch. Centering restart. Oh. Kick on the entry. Oh. To Midnight continues, Michael, to go to that side oh. headlock. Oh. Yeah, he's got this good push kick, though, that he... he oh. Nice combination as they're coming in left, right from turn, landing flush, and now he's going to... I believe he's going to dump him again. It's actually been working for him all... Oh. All round, all five. Four times in this fight, Jumin Nang has landed a really nice right cross. Oh. Just saw it again there. Turn A back to the inside. Trying to throw out of this tight clinch. Jumin Nang earlier in this fight was using that clinch very defensively, now starting to use it offensively. Aggression for some fighters can come for a really massive advantage. At the moment, Sultan Day is coming in at a disadvantage. He's coming in too, and, uh, too aggressive to the point where he's getting tied up. He, he can't unleash most of his combos as he's uh, choking himself in his space. And then eventually getting dumped. Fight 
continuing to move forward despite the stop-start action. Stop! And we are headed to the fifth and final round. A maximum of three minutes remaining in this lightweight fight. Toon Min Nang versus Saw Tarnay. Her opening bout, WLC Mighty Warriors from Mandalay, Myanmar. Nang opening with a team. Saw Tarnay trying to walk down. Powerful team off the ropes. Swing and a miss. Saw Tarnay trying to turn up the pressure, coming off the ring. Remain on the jump, need a right hand side hit by. Tun is actually taking his time and picking and choosing his shots before he ties him up. Nice dump there from Saw. Saw turn A landing in full mount, but that means nothing in this sport right back to their feet. This step to see Sontarne trying to turn up the pressure, missing with the overhand right. That clinch, which started defensively, rounds one and two, has turned really offensive. It's been very frustrating for Sontarne. Two uh, men really uh, uh, effective on the clinch. Yeah, they're just grappling, especially in the last round. They're going to do a lot of grappling, especially when they tend to get tired. Hey, uh, but it has actually been working a lot for Tun, tying him up, defusing all those combos. Nice pushki, taking his time, moving around, but he is cornered. Jump knee from two men back with his hands very low. Back to his favorite in this fight, Come. side headlock position, where he's actually found quite a bit of success. Oh. 135 remaining in this fight. Oh. Tan's got this awesome defense oh. pushki. A saw come in, well. Roundhouse kick, then under the armpit. Saw Tarnay ah! out to the inside, initiating that. Ready, ball! Walk down pressure again from Saw Tarnay. Right hand from Nang. Stop! Myanmar versus Myanmar in our opening bout of the Ready. evening. Ball! Very close to this point. Yeah, this is a very close fight. I can't judge it myself. I do find that uh, Tan is actually landing more cleaner shots and picking and choosing. Uh, Tan Day coming in with his awesome combos, but not landing flush. They just missed with the right to the body. Swinging the miss on the overhand right. Deep down to the 15th and final minute of this fight. Good deep kick from Nang. Sotarni again trying to cut off the ring. Tan bleeding from the bell. Is that what it is? Front deep. The clinch, the bell. The 
in a very, very we competitive have. fight. This one's going to be a close. We go to our outstanding ring announcer, Justin Bratton. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. After five rounds of layaway action, we go to the judge's scorecard. To present the prize to the winner, we have Sasa Hara Jun Ichiro, advisor to Key Company Limited, and On Sen, Channel Plus Channel Ambassador. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, by a split decision, out of the blue corner, Two Min Nai! Well, that was a good fight. Split decision, as I predicted. Now, eight pro victories for 18 year old Two Min Nai. And winning in his WLC debut. Very hard fought versus 20 year old Sean Tarnay. An extremely close competitive fight. Yeah, that was a real close fight. Um, from the point of view, gotta be proud. I've gotta be happy. That was a really good, hard ass, hard fight. In our opening bout of the evening, the winner by way of split decision, Tupin Nang defeats Sean Tarnay.